Listen, I like a couple of things you said. The first thing that I like that you said is that when you were trying to figure it out after you quit your job, you thought about, all right, what do I enjoy? Mm -hmm. Not the yes. money. No. I mean, even though, even though, listen, that's no. part of it. We we yeah. in we in business to make money. Let's not, sure. you know, what I'm saying, let's yeah. not be. Yeah, bro. yeah, we ain't, you know, what I'm saying, we in business to make money. Mm -hmm. Like you know, what I'm saying, we can't we can't be shy about that. But man, you ask yourself an important question about what do I enjoy? You know, what what fuels me? What drives me? Because at the end of the day, it's still work. Yeah, People man. don't understand. Yeah. It is still yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look, but I, but I, I love that though because that is. That is what's going to drive you to be consistent when the work is going to mm -hmm. drain you anyway. Yes, you know what I'm saying. It is. Like you, it, it's just what it is. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the other thing that I really like that you talk about is, you know, it was a process. Mm -hmm. You know, none of this stuff happened quickly, mm -hmm. and it really took a lot of time for you to, you know, come up with the perfect research. recipe and your research and, mm -hmm. and and everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where did how did you learn these? Because I like to call those universal laws, right? That that stuff you're talking about right there, consistency, hard work, looking at your passions and your purpose, these are things that can apply in any field. Yes, any field. Who taught you that? Where that where did that where did that come from? <laughs> I am a self taught hundred percent. Um I can say in the Well give us the sauce, like what you do. Oh no, I'm about to tell okay, you. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I I'm just say because you know you have your YouTube uh, college graduates. Yeah, yeah, YouTube University. YouTube, Shout out to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm a graduate. I'm a big alumni at YouTube University. Look, amen to that. Uh -huh. But I can say I probably, my whole entire business span, I've probably watched five YouTube videos. <laughs> maybe even, even maybe a couple more. I don't do YouTube. And it's not necessarily because I don't want to learn. That's easy learning. That is, it's not like I want to take, nobody wants to really actually take the, the harder way, but I've always been that type of self-taught person. Like in math class, because I was good at it, um, I wouldn't pay attention to math class, but I'd go home and teach myself that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why my brain functions like that. That's just who I am, everybody. You keep the YouTubing because it does help. It really do. No, I but I can say about, you know, maybe five, six, seven times I've watched YouTube. Every single other time, it was all trial and error. A person that is making a good recipe, you know, you're going to go in the kitchen. You have to still make your own recipe. You know, you still have to put your own twist to it. And you changing one type of oil or you putting one more cup into it, that's a whole different texture. It's a whole different process. It's a whole different everything. So they're not giving me what I want. And I know what kind of texture I want my, my skincare to be. So I stayed up late night. Google. I'm Google University. Yeah, and you, you, I just, you were committed. I was committed. I was Google University and I was just staying up late nights, two o'clock in the morning, researching, researching, researching. Because in the thing of skincare, there's so many different phrases that you have to use to get the answer that you want. So you can put in how to make a skincare product. It's going to bring you up a million of these things. So you, then you have to go back and say, you got to be more detailed. You got to be more specific on what you want to learn from that and grasp from that. So I'm up looking from, from just one question, I'm getting probably or learning probably 20 different answers. Was it the fear of going back to your job that kept you so committed and driven like that? No, I was never worried about going back to my job because that wasn't an option. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't even like mentally instilled in my head that I would ever work for another person again. I just knew that I wasn't after that and you know, that, that was it for me. 